Hello, all you prospectors out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is time to play Icarus again. Uh, I have a, I got my level 31 character, and uh, I've already done the loadout on him. Uh, these are the things that I'm bringing down with me, and uh, this should help us get through the mission. Now, let's go back to home. Today's mission is going to be... Where is it? Dry, dry Run Expedition. So, uh, we're going to, bla as it says, blaze a trail to the canyons. So, let's see what happens... Uh, and if we can get through this thing. Let me just double check. Yep, that's the one we're going to do. This is major. UDA's given Lagos the go-ahead to expand operations. They're looking for data on the deserts. If you can get in there, it'll open the place up for scanning, prospecting, and a whole lot else. There's a lot of questions here. And they're paying top dollar for answers. Choice is yours. All right. Well, let's go ahead and claim this prospect. And confirm our loadout. Private. Yes. And I will see you down on the floor. All right, we've made it down to the surface, and I've got all of my uh, items where I want them to be in my inventory. There's my uh, oxygen tank. I've already filled up my water, my spare uh, pickaxe, and whatnot. Uh, so let's look at the map. We've got drop zones here and here. Uh, and so we've got to pick up equipment out of both of those. So, I guess we need to get started. And I will kind of, kind of work my way through here. Uh, I think what I want to do is what I usually do when I get started make a quick shelter here. Uh, I usually do it out of wood and try to get my bedroll and whatnot. That way uh, I can s sleep through the night and then I don't have to mess around with it being so dark. So once I get some of that established, I will uh, catch back up with you. Okay, just a little update on where I am at. As you can see, I've got the uh, shelter built. Uh, I actually got uh, food cooking here. and Let's get this in. Uh, I managed to find some wolves and kill them. Uh, they're good for fur so I can make my bed roll. Uh, so first thing I got to do though actually is let's uh, eat some of this. Get our health bar back up. And then I need to get a crafting bench built. Let's get that done here. Where are you? Crafting bench. And of course I need wood and stone. So let's go grab some stone. Right here. I do have oxide on me so if it looks like I get a little low on oxygen uh, we can grab some of that but I wanted to get this done I've already got my oxide and sulfur now I just need another tree let's get this cut down right here uh, you'll do that should give us enough as soon as I get this chopped up. And you can see it's 1423. 
So we're doing really good for the first day here. And then what we'll do, or what I will do, is in the morning, strike out for the, uh, for our equipment. And, ah, didn't want that. There we go. All right. Let's get over here. Let's get this crafting bench built real quick. Uh, get that built. We need the crafting bench to get the oxite. And I suppose I should... I need to pull that out anyway. Let's put that in there. That went a little longer than I normally do. Normally I have the oxite built. So we don't have to get too carried away here and let's get that built half that then we can get our oxygen bottle filled up and we don't really have to worry about it too much all right let's get that down close that out uh, let's deploy that okay uh, grab that, grab you, throw the sulfur in there, and then let's grab this out. I'd rather, it's more efficient to put it into the oxygen bottle. Now that we have that going, we did get a little bit of oxygen, so that's good. All right, we got that. And let's make... Our bedroll. Where is it? Right there. Grab that. All right, let's deploy it. And we can just kind of set it right there. There we go. Ah, we can set the spawn point, but we're going to be pulling all of this stuff up in the morning. Uh, so that's a little bit of an update. Uh, at this point, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you when we get ready to head out in the morning off to those uh, crates. So we're right here, and we're going to be heading up to that one, and we got this one over here. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is morning time, and I've already started picking up camp a little bit. Let's get this bedroll picked up. And I actually managed to get me a leather suit, so I collected enough leather for that. Let's uh, finish getting the last of the meat off of here. Deactivate this, get rid of the charcoal. And we'll grab our wood out and pick this up. And so now let's just uh, pull down camp. And I'm hitting the Y button. And that, uh, that puts all of these uh, pieces into my inventory. So I don't lose those. So I'm not actually destroying them. I'm just picking them up. Like that. This one. And there should be... Where are they at? You. 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 There should be one right there. Okay. Now let's take a look at our map. So again, we're right here where it says Commander Kingfish. And we're going to head over to this uh, storage bin right there and see what we got in there. And let's see if we can do this without dying. So I am going to start heading over there. I don't know if you guys want to watch me 
walk across uh, this boring part. So I once I get to that uh, storage bin, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, I am just about to the first storage bin. Should just be right over here. Pretty uneventful getting over here. And I haven't heard any bears or anything. So we should be in pretty good shape. Check the map again. Oh, I'm almost right on it. Where is it? There it is. Okay. We'll see what we got in here. All right, this is a drill rig. All right, I guess it's got to go right here. Great. Lagos unit figures the cave system's the key to getting through to the desert. But tidal forces from Minos mean subterranean networks are anything but stable. They figured you'll need drilling equipment. All right, so we got the drill. And I think we need more equipment out of over here on uh, that other cubicle. So once I get over to it, I'll uh, catch back up with you. I don't think you guys want to watch me walking through all this forest. If you've seen one shrub bush, you've seen them all. So I'll be uh, back, catch back up with you when I get over there. Okay, I am getting close to that other storage bin. As you can see, we have a shower that's come through, but it's not too big a deal. Uh, it's not uh, severe enough, so uh, I can keep kind of pushing my way through. Usually when they do get severe enough, and I can just kind of crawl inside of a rock, and I see the storage bin over there, so we'll make our way over to it. And then this should get us uh, our destination spot on the map. Hopefully, I'm trying to get, get this stuff gathered so we can be over there by Darkfall. And I need this. And that. Okay. Locate the cave entrance. All right. And it's right there. So we will head back the way we came in and then kind of head up over and in through there. All right. Oop. All right. Well. Once I get over towards that cave entrance, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Uh, it shouldn't be too awful bad, I don't think. But hopefully we won't run into too many predators. So I'll see you when you get over towards the cave. Oh crap, here we go. Got him. Whew. Well, I knew there was going to run into bears, but I didn't expect to run into them that soon over here. Let's skin him out. We were, I was just about ready to start uh, catching back up with you all anyway. Here's where we're at on the map. Uh, so, we've got to get down over to the cave over there. All right, so hopefully we've got through that. Let's eat a little meat here to get some health back. Okay.
Better not be another one here. Okay, that's a goat. All right, well, once I get a little bit closer to the cave, I'll catch back up with you all. Well, if you look down into the valley down there, you can see off over to the far side on the other side of the lake. I think that is where our cave is. There's a cave there and a cave right there. So there's two of them. And I think they join together inside. So we've got to get down to there. And I thought I heard another bear. So let's see if we can get over here. And showers, of course, that's okay. That shouldn't be too awful bad. Alright. Uh, Alright, well, anyway. Once I get a little closer to the cave down there, down by the lake... I'll catch back up with you all. Well, as you see, we're down here by the lake. Uh, you can see the caves over there. I think I am going to set up on that second cave over there. I think that'll be pretty good. Let's see if we can get down through here. Get across the water. And I think what I'm going to do, the first thing I want to do is uh, mine some, well, get uh, get my little wood shelters built. And then uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, this is good for the shelter. So let me do this real quick. Let's uh, deploy this just somewhere over here, out of the way. Ah, uh, yeah, right, right there should be good. We can get that T-bone cooking. And let's split the wood out. Beat that. And there we go. All right. Okay, once, once I get a little bit farther along here and I get the shack built and then we'll see what we need to do next. So I think uh, that will be locate the cave entrance. Actually, let's let's see if that if we can get this. All right. It, let's see if it, it's the other side. There we go. Okay drill through the rock fall. Alright, that's on the inside, so that's gonna, we're gonna have to go inside the cave to do that. And that's gonna require some materials. So, let me get uh, get this place set up and then we can kind of take it from there. Alright, I'll catch back up with you in a little bit. Okay, it's morning time, and I managed to get uh, my camp somewhat set up. I also got a smelter set up. So one of the things I'm going to do now is actually start preparing to go into the cave. What I want to do, though, is get a uh, kind of a 
a basic rock or stone building set up and then that way I can take this down and have plenty of room for uh, well so I don't have to worry about the stone building catching on fire stuff like that so what I'm going to do I need to make a masonry's bench let's see what do I need for that uh, where are you at machining masonry bench uh, oh, I need uh, an anvil, and I can make the rope, so 12 rope. So in order to get the nails, I have to go mine some iron. So, let. why don't I do that? Once I get the masonry's bench built, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I was going to give you an update once I got the masonry's bench built, and I do have it built. Uh, so what I've done was I've put the masonry's bench over here, and I got the anvil over here because this is classified as inside the cave, so it shows as his shelter and so I've got some stone and everything in here I'm gonna build basically the same thing that I have what am I missing nails of course uh, craft that I'm going to build the same thing that uh, I basically have with the wooden structure so it's just a safe place and let's uh, get one more of these going. And then run out, get out of the moisture so I don't get pneumonia. That's just the silliest thing. I wish they'd do something about that. But it is what it is. And let's see what else. See if I can get my two floor pieces. Craft that. And I need six walls. I don't Let's see if I can get six wall. Nope, I need more stone. All right, I'm going to go get some stone. And once I'm ready to start uh, building the brick or the stone stone hut, I'll catch back up with you. All right, just an update here. I just about have the uh, stone building ready to put up, the stone hut. And let's get the walls in. That, 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 that. Put one up that can take a door. And let's go ahead and put the door in uh, roof let's deploy that and let's uh, get these deployed grab the stuff in here we'll just get it moved out of the way uh, I'm running out of room uh, tell you what I need to let's should be fine right here let's go ahead and deploy the camp stove that should work. And let's get this meat in there. Take that. That should give us a little more room. And... Okay. Okay. 
So what the stone hut does is it's pretty much going to stand up to any of the weather that will roll in. And so by moving it over, putting everything into there, then we don't have to worry about our spawn points and stuff like that. So let's get the crafting table in. That's textiles. Crafting table, let's get it deployed right here. Actually, we're going to just turn it right here like this. I think we are, aren't we? Yeah. And then uh, we'll put, we'll just store our stuff in here. Like this can go here, that, the fur, put all of that stuff in there. All right. And then we can get our bedroll laid down. We'll look, put it down over here. So we got our spawn point. Set the spawn point. There we go. All right. So we've got that. I'm going to tear this down so it's out of the way. Uh, we still have our other benches set up over here since they are in shelter. And then I think we're going to be pretty close to ready to start start the actual mission. So once I uh, catch back up, well, I'll catch back up with you probably in the morning when we're ready to start heading out. So see you then. Alrighty, it is morning time and we're about actually ready to start start uh, the actual mission mission of it we've already got set up I've already created some wood torches to set up along the way in there uh, and so one of the things that we do have to do is let's deploy this so this has to be set up out here uh, let me see I don't know which way all right. Well, let's just do that. Oh, uh, that's backwards. All right, let's pick this up. We need it facing this away. This is going to be our power for the drill. Yeah, such as it is. So let's deploy this again. And we've got this setting towards the sun. All right. So one of the things you have to do, and I should move this down over here, is we have to connect this to the drill. So let's see. Uh, place, there we go, place wire. Now the problem is, this only goes so far, so you got to sit here and kind of place these along. Place it there. So. This is what you got to do. Now let me light the torch up and get that going. And of course you're going to have some animals in the way up here. Get that there. And I try to avoid them if I can. Kind of keep working our way in. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is put a 
torch here. Put that there. And we need to put some fuel in it. Let's just split these. And then we can activate that. Alright. Now let's go back to our tool. Put that into there. And then we've got to make, make our way to the back of the cave up here. And once I get a little farther along, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, we are to the <clears throat> wall. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we need to... This has to snap into place. So we've got that there. Now let's uh, finish hooking this up. And I did get pneumonia, of course. All right, yeah, you need to make sure that those are connected. And we're going to put that there. Okay, looks like that sucker's ready to go. Oh, crap. Of course. Oh, jeez. I need to get... Oh, Great. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. Well, this could be bad news. Let's eat something. Managed to get through the poison. Great. I forgot that all those cave worms. Okay, you cleared it. Nice work. Oh, okay. Good. Now, let's uh, deal with uh, those cave worms. Actually, I probably need to make some more. Oh, of course I need sticks. Well, let's make a few sticks. Alright, now we can make some more arrows. I usually try to take the cave worms out by... Uh, just... Oh, great. Alright, well... We've got a few of those. Uh, let's make a few more of these. Craft those. Now let's get the old knife ready. And let's get back in there. I mean, there's got to be some more cave worms in here someplace, like right there. Alright, those are out of the way. that up and I think we've got to go a little bit farther yeah we got one more I 
think this is where we've got to put it. Yep. All right. Let's go back. Got to run our cable out. And... Reach over here. Okay. can bust through this thing. Uh, let's put another... Let's see what we got here. Uh, you know what? Let's do it like this. Let's make some more... Let's make... that. Alright. Let's get some fuel into here. Another one bites the dust. Let's get out of here. For real this time. Uh, enter the desert canyon. Well, let's pick this thing up. I'm not sure... So we've got to get over here. Okay. Well, of course, just when I was getting out of here. You're opening up Icarus for them. And everyone else. Yep, yeah, the future's coming. Where it's all going, who can say? I guess that's up to you. Okay, well, that's done. And we can return to the dropship. So, once... I tell you what, once I get back through the cave... I will uh, catch back up with you, and we'll kind of reassess things, and it'll be time to head back to the dropship. Okay, I made it out of the cave with now no problem, uh, other than I got that pneumonia. Uh, we do have a storm that's come up, winds. So I'm going to hang out here at the shelter until my pneumonia clears up, and then we get through the storms so because I do know over on the other side of the lake up and in there there's a bear I've seen him when I was out uh, gathering some resources so we'll have to pay attention and I don't want to be sick when I'm trying to get past him so I'm gonna wait till the pneumonia clears up which is what you kind of have to do and then uh, I will uh, catch back up with you when I'm ready to start heading out. Okay, I am ready to start heading back. My pneumonia is almost cleared up. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm so very close to leveling up. I am going to chop a couple of trees down over here and let's see if we can get leveled up. And as always, we get to leave all of our stuff behind. That's the one thing I kind of get a little frustrated on this game is that you gotta 
rebuild everything over and over and over on every mission, and it's, frankly, it starts to get a little boring. And let's see, we are very, very close. We should be leveling up here pretty quick. The reason I do that, when I'm especially this close, if I should happen to die playing as a solo, I, uh, uh, I lose all of my experience points, and I hate to lose all of that. And I think this one should get it for us. There it is, leveled up. All right, let's get a couple more. Uh, we got a solo point. I, you know, I haven't been using my points right away. I'm, I kind of save them so that in case, in case there's something I actually truly, truly need, then I can, I'll have the points to put, a, put into that. So, I will, uh, I'm going to start heading back up this way. Let's see if we can kind of work way, our way over here. I spotted that bear on the other side over there, so I don't know where he's prowling around at. I haven't heard him. So let's see if we can get up through here. I better take... Let's uh, just consume... Over to inventory. All right. Just make sure I'm at my maximum. All right. Once I get through this area here, I will be able to pretty much run. Okay, well, if there's anything exciting that happens along the way, I will be sure to let you know. Otherwise, I will uh, catch back up with you at the dropship. Okay, I am uh, just about back to the dropship. We're here at the lake. I think the dropship should be just right over here. And let's see if old Saul has something to say once we hit the dropship. And I didn't run into any bears or anything at all, so it was pretty uneventful. It just took a little while running back in the running simulator. So here we are. Okay. All right. All right. Looks like Saul doesn't have anything to say. Let me uh, double check my loadout, make sure I got everything. Uh, let's put this down here. And put this down here. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That's everything. All right. Well, that was the dry run expedition. And so we completed the mission. Uh, I think we're going to call the video good right here. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And let me know if uh, you find these uh, videos interesting, if they're helpful. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be doing them periodically, about every two or three weeks maybe, as far as on uh, uh, Icarus. Uh, it's just one that uh, you got to kind of take it in small doses. It, it can be a fun game, but it is a grindy game. So, anyway. All right. Well, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.